The major challenges being faced by most peasant farmers in the country is the usual wastage that occurs after harvesting their farmed produce with little or no knowledge of how to preserve it. In order to correct this, the Agricultural and Rural Management Training Institute is organizing a one-week training program for peasant farmers in Kwara State. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, who was represented, says the investment of the federal government in agriculture is paying off, especially with the country emerging as the leading producer of sorghum in Africa. It is during harvest and post-harvest handling that losses occur in crop value chain. Training like this are very necessary. In fact, one of the bedrock on which the development of agriculture is based with respect to the test policy, the NATIP, is a college of good agricultural practices from our research and training institutes. So, I use this medium to appreciate once more the facilitator and management of uh, AMTE. I never attend a training here without adding to my knowledge or skill. I therefore urge all to ensure to leave it here better than they came. To the executive director, over 50% of harvesting is usually lost to processing and believes the training will afford them opportunity of learning new skills of preservation. Almost uh, 40 to 50% of harvest are lost during processing. And that is why we don't want that one because it will reduce your profits. And we don't want it, and that is why we said, let us mount a training like this for all our beneficiaries, for all our farmers, so that this one will encourage you when you can process well and you can sell your produce at a reasonable price. The man in charge of the training program enumerates how the farmers will be provided with various tools and the benefits therein, while the traditional ruler was full of gratitude on how it will improve the economic well-being of the farmers. We did not leave our farmers at sea the supply. We supported them with herbicides and fertilizers following good agricultural practices, what is the expected plant population, what is the required uh, fertilizers you are supposed to put on the farm, the first stage, the second stage, on one hectare. We are much, much grateful indeed, and I pray for, for God and to God Almighty to always be at their side. Over 200 farmers will be trained in the first category, while other states will also benefit in the second category.